So here we are on the next of the PG series. In this video, we're going to learn how to drill and tap, uh, specifically the tapping since you already have done the drilling, but we'll review that anyways. Uh, and we're going to actually make a tap. In this case, we're going to make the 3816 tap. All right. So first uh, thing we'll do is we'll spot the holes. We'll have to create a drill for this, a 312 drill. We'll, we'll do the drilling through and then we're going to have to tap through and we're going to make a tap for that. So back over to our model, which um, going, you know, by the drawing, if you have not already added these holes in here in the design side, make sure you put in those tapped holes first. So if you have to stop, stop and do that, then come back to the video. So back here in manufacture, I, I did a new setup. Um, I moved the stock box point over to this corner right here. So Z, Y, and X should be set up the way you see it. All right. Uh, stock is from previous. In post-process, we got to put our program number. Choose any random number you want. And put your comments at the beginning. So PG-0006. Drill and tap. G54 upper left. Okay. That's good. Our setup is good. Okay. So I'm just going to go through quickly. I'm going to do a drilling operation. I'm going to select my spot drill first, which I already have current. And I'm going to go over to my geometry and I'm going to spot all these holes. I'm going to change the depth because it's a little too deep here. I'm going to change it to, I think, 0 0.080 would be good. Minus 0 0.080. Good. Spot drilling's done. I'm going to do a new drilling operation. I'm going to go for the tool. If I go to my library, I do not have a 312 drill, so I'm going to create that. Add drill. And that's 516th diameter drill. Put that in the comment, the description. Cutter is two flutes. Change the diameter to 0.312. That's good for that tab. Cutting data. I'm going to make that one, let's see, about 1,000 RPM. And we'll feed that at 8 inches a minute. Okay, post process is going to be uh, tool number two This in this case. All right, accept it, select it. There we go. So click on the geometry tab and click these holes. Our height tab, we want to change from bottom height from model top to model bottom. Okay, and that's drilling all the way through. Last one, we want to, because it's such a deep hole, we want to change this to peck drilling. So we're going to, on the cycle tab, we're going to go to the one that says deep drilling full retract. That will give it a G83 with a peck depth of 78 thousandths. Okay, so that one's done. Now we've got to do the tapping. That's going to still be under drilling. So click on drill. Tool, select. We're going to go to our local library. And we're going to add tap. Make sure it's a tap right hand. <clears throat> tap left hand will cause all kinds of problems, so we don't want that. Tap right hand. And I'm just going to describe what it is, a 3 8 16 UNC 2B spiral I spiral. Three eighths, sixteen, UNC dash two B, high spiral cut tap. That's very specific. Okay, so the cutter. Um, 
Number of flutes is not going to matter in this case, but the diameter is 0.375. Thread pitch. Remember how we do our thread pitches. It's, it's 1 divided by threads per inch. It's a 3, 8, 16, so that's 16 threads per inch. So if you highlight where it says thread pitch and do 1 divided by 4, it should do the, yep, no, it does. It does not do it right. Yeah, it does. Sorry, 1 divided by 8. 1 divided by 8. 16. What is wrong with me? 1 16th. Whew, there we go. 0625 inches our pitch, and that's good. Cutting data, spindle speed, 500 RPM is good. Okay. And it's going to calculate our feed rate based off of the thread pitch. Post processes three, that's good for a tool number. Accept. So now we've got our 3816 cut tap. We'll select that one. We'll go to our geometry tab and click the two holes. And you can see it's barely going down at all. So we're going to change our height from model top to model bottom. And now because of the lead on the tap where you don't have full threads, I'm going to go a bit deeper on this. I'm going to go minus 250. So it's a little bit deeper. <clears throat> and we want to double check our cycle. It is set up for tapping, so that's good. So that's going to be calculated automatically. All right. We'll go back now. We're going to click on the setup itself, right? So you get to see the three different tools underneath it. We'll do our simulation. I'll just run that through so it'll spot all the holes. Spot. Oh, you know what? I just I made a mistake. I thought about that. I didn't have to spot these two holes. I'm going to go fix that. I'm going to exit my simulation. I'm going to go back to my first one. So we'll double click on that little icon. Geometry. I'm going to click on those two holes again. It will wipe them out. Go back to my setup. Simulate. And everything's done now on these two holes. That's that. Now you can post it out.